from the adjusted trial balance to the income statement. We've been working with the trial balance for the past seven lessons, so we should begin to be familiar with it. Here, it is presented in a usual way, with the normal accounts in alphabetical order, and then the adjustments. I changed a little bit the names of the normal accounts to more formal names. Instead of Deirdre, now it's supplier of goods to be sold. Instead of Sally, it's client. Instead of James, it's supplier of machinery, etc. And as I said, they are in alphabetical order. There is no meaning yet in this, uh, the structure of this list, in the order of this list. We saw five types of adjustments. Adjustments for inventories that were taken care of by these accounts. Because we are in the first accounting cycle, there is this opening stocks IS with zero, and then two accounts as usual for an adjustment, closing stock IS and closing stock BS. Then adjustment for amortization, two accounts, amortization IS, amortization BS, always with mirror entries. Then two accounts for provision for bad clients, provision IS 250, provision BS 250 here, rather than uh, putting it directly into the client account. And finally, prepayment. A debit here of 500 and the other part was taken care of directly into shop expenses the same is true of accruals a credit here of 100 and the mirror debit was taken care of directly in shop expenses you should go back to previous lessons if you are not yet at ease with these adjustments The income statement is very simply a presentation of the sales, also called revenues, also called turnover, the cost, also called charges, also called consumptions, but the cost specifically matching the sales, that is the cost incurred specifically in the accounting cycle to create the sales. And at the bottom of the income statement, there will be the calculation of the difference which is the profit or loss of the accounting cycle. One very important point is that the sales figure uh, does not take into consideration whether we were paid cash or by check or with an IOU. The same is true of the cost. This cost figure we shall see uh, is uh, independent of whether we paid with the money or with, we paid with IOUs. And finally, the profit or loss is not a cash figure, it's a value figure. The cash calculation will be made into another document we shall see later on called the cash flow statement. So to prepare the income statement, we so-called extract the revenue accounts from the adjusted trial balance. This is the adjusted trial balance and the the accounts that will be left will be the so-called capital accounts. So let's mark off the uh, revenue accounts. Bank is not a revenue account. It's a, a, an asset account, uh, counting money we have at the bank. The capital account is not a revenue account. The cash is like the bank account. It's an asset account, measuring assets we have uh, in the firm in the form of money. Client is not a revenue account, it's an asset account measuring how use we have in the firm. Long-term loan is not a revenue account, machinery is an asset account. Purchases is a revenue account. Rent is also a revenue account, that is an account of a charge of the, the year. Salaries is a revenue account. Sales, of course, is the main, we may say, revenue account. Shop expenses is a revenue account, that is a, an account of charges of the year, properly adjusted now to match exactly the uh, activity of the accounting cycle. Suppliers are not revenue accounts, and the van is not a revenue account, it's an asset account. And in the adjustment list, opening stocks is a revenue account, 
closing stock IS is a revenue account, of course, whereas closing stock BS is not. Amortization IS is a revenue account because it's an extra account measuring a charge in the sense of a loss of value of assets. Amortization BS is not. Provision for bad or doubtful clients IS is a revenue account. Provision for bad or doubtful clients BS is not. And prepayments here and accruals here are capital accounts, are not revenue accounts. So now here is the income statement with the usual presentation. We begin with the sales, then opening stock IS, which for the first accounting cycle is simply enough zero. Purchases, the entire purchases, but corrected, you may say, by the closing stock IS. And as you know, these three figures uh, enable us to compute the COGS. COGS equal 6,400 minus 3,600, that's 2,800. And this part altogether of the income statement is called the trading account. Then we have a first calculation of a difference called the gross margin or gross profit here of 4,200. And then we have the charges. Some of them are normal charges, the rent, the shop expenses, the salaries, and mind you, they have been properly adjusted to match once again exactly these sales and two extra uh, costs, which are called uh, adjustments. These costs are, all these charges are called operational charges, operational charges or costs. These are called uh, cash costs and these are called non-cash costs, even though these may have been paid without use. So cash cost, non-cash cost. So this is the, the income statement with here in this example, a loss of 1,970 euros. And finally, this will be the next step. The next step will be to replace all the revenue accounts in the, I should say, adjusted trial balance by just the balance of the IS. The income statement has a balance in debit here. That means a loss of 1,970. We have now extracted and canceled all the revenue accounts in there and put only one figure, the net profit of or loss of the income statement. And lo and behold, this is the balance sheet. It just needs some rearrangement to be in the standard presentation and that will be studied in the next lecture.